Hey, good morning, everyone. We're here at the Tokyo Metropolitan Building. Going there today. We started this day a little bit late. We left the house at 7 and we had to deal with the morning commute, and that was not fun. Wouldn't you say so? Sardines in a can, that's pretty much what it's like. We gotta wake up early tomorrow. It's not my fault. Always blaming me, but no. Just like world hunger, my fault, huh? It's really hot today. I'm already sweating, but yeah, we're gonna get some coffee and start off the day right. So I got my regular cold brew coffee, but I got it with whipped cream instead of heavy cream. That was my fault. Because Tim told me that heavy cream in Japanese is nama, nama cream, but nama cream is whipped cream and not heavy cream. <laughs> I just had like a big wall of whipped cream on top. You want to? How do we get to the observatory? Observatory, blue light bridge. Oh, okay. Thank you. These like find your name things, these are always a test to see how popular my name is. Usually my name isn't that very popular. Yep, my name is not here. William, Will, Wendy, and that's about it. got down from the observatory. We got a couple souvenirs here. This man. <laughs> One more time, I'm gonna slash you with this fan. <laughs> so back away. We've been compared the to the Tokyo Sky Tree, it will cost, cost all four of us $100 altogether. But then Tokyo Metropolitan is free to go up and you got the same exact view. So that's really, that's a great tip if you're ever coming to um, uh, Tokyo and you want to get a good view. Let's go to the Tokyo Metropolitan. We're on our way now to the Samurai Museum. It is hot today like here in Tokyo. Samurai Museum in Shinjuku. Are you excited? Not really. You're pretty excited, huh? I'm pretty excited. Nope. Are you excited? Samurai Museum. It's 
Excuse me. Yeah. My feet hurt though. I don't think I talk too much. I want to look at Samurai costume, that's all I want to see. <laughs> so I think it's an okay experience. Probably partly because I was kind of tired. Kind of just wanted to sleep. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. Overall, for me, it was alright. Do you think it was worth the 20 bucks though? You're paying 20 bucks because you're getting it too. And I hear tourist trash. It's cool seeing the, the real life armor though. I mean, you can see pictures of it, but, but overall, it was alright. Not much to say. I. I wouldn't say I recommend it. <laughs> cool to learn about Japanese history. If you have spot time spare, yeah, definitely check it out if you want to. So now we're here at this okonomiyaki. It's basically a Japanese pancake. Hey, so as I was editing this, I realized that the original explanation I had in the video for okonomiyaki was really, really bad and just didn't hit all the points that I wanted to hit um, about okonomiyaki. So I'm just gonna voice over this part and just redo it. Okonomiyaki is a Japanese savory pancake or a Japanese pizza that is made out of flour, eggs, tempura scraps, cabbage, pork belly slices, and topped with a variety of condiments like okonomiyaki sauce, Japanese mayonnaise, dried seaweed, and dried bonito flakes. What's really great about it though is that you can customize it as much as you want, similar to pizza. You can add anything from calamari, shrimp, scallops, mochi, cheese, green onions, pickled ginger, the possibilities are only limited to your imagination. The three flavors we got were cheese, squid, and shrimp. Cooking it is similar to a regular pancake. You mix up the ingredients, cook it on a teppan or a grill, and add your toppings. Oh look, I'm about to try it. Let's see what I think. Now there's no joke. Mmm, you heard it there. It was no joke. It's looking on sand tonight. It's going to be like this. Because it's a cold. Today's market is actually getting super trained. Please remember to wear your So for this part, since I didn't really explain it very well, this next place we went to was Team Lab Boardless in Odaiba. Simply put, this place is an art exhibit, but it's not like any other art exhibit I've ever seen before. So this is taken from their website. Team Lab Boardless is a world of artworks without boundaries, a museum without a map created by art collective Team Lab. Team Lab Borderless is a group of artworks that form one borderless world. Artworks move out of rooms, communicate with other works, influence, and sometimes intermingle with each other with no boundaries. Immerse your body in borderless art in this vast, complex, three-dimensional, 10,000 square meter world. Wander, explore with intention, discover, and create a new world with others. So now I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna show you guys all the clips that we took there. So I hope you guys enjoy them.
So this place is obviously a great spot for some of those Instagram worthy posts, but those things aside, I had a really great time at Team Land Borderless. I just really like the idea of like a borderless piece of art and how like everything kind of just intermingles with each other and kind of is like um, interlocked and woven together to make one big giant art piece and kind of like all these uh, singular art pieces don't really stand alone they can all be put together and woven together into one big piece of art and I thought that was really really cool. I'm just really blown away by the intense amount of work that it took to put this whole project together so props to Team Lab for putting that um, whole exhibit together. Do yourself a favor and pay a visit to this place because this place is best experienced in person and the videos and the pictures you're about to see does not do this place justice. Just do yourself a favor and just go there. Do try to go right when they open though because we went around 1 p.m. and it was packed. There was so much people there, um, but that's what you can expect from a super Instagram worthy place. So definitely try to get there right when they open. I'm not too sure when they open, but you can always check the websites for all the times, which you'll see in the description below. Hey, so that place you guys just saw was Team Lab. Team Lab Borderless to be exact. It's a really cool place. You guys should definitely check it out. It's just great photo opportunities. Yeah, it's here in Odaiba, but right now we're walking around the, the area around Odaiba. And this is just amazing because look, there's water. 